This is amazing. What if you can integrate Mistral O Llama with Llama Index? What if you can create RAG using Quadrant Vector Store? That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about creating a RAG application using Mistral, Olama, and Llama Index. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. In this, we are going to create index, save the index, load the index, and finally use Mistral through Olama to ask questions. The indexing data will get stored in Quadrant Vector Store. These are list of tweets in JSON format, and we are going to index this data, save this data, and then retrieve and query it. In this data, we can see information about Star Trek. So what people are telling about that? That's exactly what we're going to analyze. So the current system, what I'm using is NVIDIA RTX 5000 ADA with 32 GPU. This is the Linux machine, so I'm going to install Olama using this command, and then you can click Enter. Next, you can type Olama serve to start the Olama server running. Keep this terminal running and open a new terminal. In the new terminal, type Olama run Mistral to download the Mistral model, and then it'll be ready for us to code. Now we need to install a few Python packages. Pip install Llama index quadrant client, torch, and then transformers. Then click enter. Now we are going to create a file called app.py and then let's open it. Inside the file, first we are going to import modules. From llama index.lms, we are going to import olama. Then we are going to import path, quadrant client. Next, vector store index, service context, and download loader. Then we are going to import storage context. And finally, quadrant vector store. Next, we are going to load the JSON data. So we are using JSON reader, loader equals JSON reader. And then the document is nothing but the tweets which I have just shown. It's in the same directory. Next, we're going to create quadrant client and store. So client equals quadrant client, quadrant client, and providing the path where you need to store the data. Next, we are initiating the quadrant vector store and providing the name of the collection, which is tweets. This is used when we retrieve the index later. Next, going to create storage context. That's where you mention the vector store, which you have just created in the previous step. Now we're going to initialize Olama and service context. To do that, LLM equals Olama and providing the model that is Mistral and then service context. So in the service context, you are mentioning what large language model you're using and the embed model equals local. Now we're going to create vector store index and query engine. So this is where you mention the documents which we have created earlier. That's where you have the list of tweets. Then you provide the service context where you mention the launch language model. And then finally, you mention the storage context. That is your quadrant vector store, which you have mentioned earlier in this line. So this line performs the indexing and then it stores the index data in this location, quadrant data. Next, we're going to create the query engine, index as query engine. And finally, we are going to perform a query and print the response. So the query, what we are going to ask is, what does the author think about Star Trek in one line? And we are going to print the response. So that's it. This actually index the data and then stores the data. And finally, query the data. As a quick summary, you are importing the required modules. Then you are importing the tweets stored in the JSON format into documents. Next, you are initializing the quadrant vector store. Next, you are setting up the service context with what large language model we are using. Then you're performing the indexing and then storing that data in the quadrant storage. Finally, you're asking question from the data which you've just provided. So this is like creating a RAG application with the provider data. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. This is now indexing the data, storing the data, and then finally using that index to query the data using Mistral 7 billion parameter model. And finally, we got the answer from the large language model. The author has expressed that they have seen various Star Trek series and explains that further. Next, we're going to create a file called index.py and then we're going to open it. 
So we have seen indexing data and saving the index and performing the query against that. And finally, now we are going to load the index from where it got saved and then query again. First, we are going to import modules. We are importing quadrant client, vector store index service context, olama, and then finally quadrant vector store. Next, we're going to create quadrant client and vector store as before, quadrant client function, and from where we want to retrieve the index, the location. Next, we are going to provide the vector store. Here, you're mentioning the name of the collection, which we have mentioned before, that is tweets. In this way, it can directly retrieve the data from tweets stored in the quadrant vector store. Next, we are going to initialize Olama and the service context with the model name Mistral and service context same as before, mentioning the LLM name and embed model. Now we are going to create vector store index and query engine. So in this vector store index, we are providing the location where the index got stored. That is the vector store, which we have mentioned here in the line number nine. So this is the main difference happening compared to what it was before. Rather than indexing, we are directly loading from the previous index. Next, we are going to initiate the query engine with similarity search. And finally, we are going to query the index and then printing the response. Here, we're going to ask the question, what does the author think about Star Trek in one line? Now, we're going to run this code. In your terminal, python index.py and then click enter. And finally, we got the response from the large language model with the context provided. That's it, as simple as that. Now we used Mistral through Olama, Llama index, quadrant vector store to create a RAG application. We were able to index the existing data, save the index data, and then load the index to perform querying against the data. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.